for the first table. As Nashville has grown, the tension between providing for residents and attracting tourists has also grown. How do you plan to balance those competing needs? Mr. Gingrich? I actually think that is a bit of a false choice. Uh, our, we do need to nurture our tourism and hospitality industry. It is one of the great things about Nashville. However, we do also need to focus on the people who live here. Our tourism industry is going to thrive if, in fact, it has the support of people of Nashville. And I worry that we are losing that support. We need tourism 2.0. We need a durable tourism industry, one that is family friendly, not one that is based on overconsumption of 26 year olds. And we can do that. We also need to focus on the people who live here, as I said earlier. That's about affordable housing. That's about adequate infrastructure. That's about investing in our schools and ensuring that our streets are safe. These are things that we can do. We don't have to make trade offs. This should not be about, is this a place to visit or is this a place to live? It can be both. But we need to make the right choices. And in every one of those choices, I'm going to put the people of Nashville first. That's what we have to focus on. What is the quality of life of the people who are here? What we are suffering from right now is the absence of a plan. Whether or not we are talking about how we're going to grow our tourism industry or how we grow this city. That's what we need, and that's what I'll bring. Thank you. Ms. Brooks. Hashtag pay to park to eat. We need to make Nashville more friendly, not just to our visitors, but to the people that live here. As your mayor, we're going to focus on pay to park to eat. We don't want you to come out and have your car towed and a meal go from $40 to $250. And while we're on it, I want to talk about the artists, the musicians here that have to pay to park to play. I want to make sure that Nashville is not friendly just to our tourists, but Nashville is friendly to those that are already here. When a musician makes $300 for a gig, and by the time he pays his people out and pays for parking and a slice of cold pizza, that's not friendly to the people that are serving us for Nashville. So my answer to the question is to make sure that we are friendly to ones that are already building Nashville, that build Nashville up. And as we're talking about the hospitality industry, I ask nicely for the hospitality industry to be nice to those that give mental health. Our churches, don't charge our churches $300 a night, charge them $100 a night. Mental health is what it is all about. So. That is the answer to the question. To the musicians, I hear you. To the artists, I hear you. Pay to park to eat, no way. Thank you. Councilmember O'Connell. Yeah, thanks. This is, I think <clears throat> we've heard it already a little bit. This is a choice about priorities. That is what the job of the mayor is to do, is to help establish the city's priorities. And what I've heard from our residents, the people we will be charged with representing, uh, as I've traveled the county over the past year, is two of the top concerns right now are cost of living and quality of life. It's fundamentally not a choice, but the mayor gets to choose where we invest. And the investment we just made a few weeks ago as a city was in the most expensive toy for tourists we've ever built. Uh, in fact, the finance team that came in to tell the city about the stadium uh, likened it to something that was like Las Vegas. They literally likened it to Vegas. And that's not what I think residents need right now. It's not what they want. It's not what I'm hearing. What residents are telling me they want is easier access to jobs, safer commutes, uh, that they're not worried about potholes or reckless driving. Uh, we lost more pedestrians to fatal crashes last year than ever before. And so as mayor, what I'm going to be focused on is those issues of quality of life and cost of living. We will build a transit system befitting a major American city. We're the last one that doesn't have something that helps residents get around and keep their cost of living lower. And we'll use every toolkit of the mayor's office and metro to build more affordable housing. We will focus on our residents. Thank you. Question two goes to the next.